and I want to say, my God, I'm so happy to see this place. And uh, I'm so uh, really feeling strengthened and joyous at uh, realizing that for 15 years now, that I've been able to be on the scene, bringing people together. I love being in this space, Red Emma's. And with, I know how much struggle that has been, particularly in this time, when it's become so difficult to get a social space, so difficult to get a place where people can come together and, you know, like a real common of knowledge. Spaces like this are really important to come together with an unapologetically left uh, uh, culture and emphasis, and um, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, the last time I, I spoke at Red Emma's, it was in uh, much more modest digs. It's amazing to see the community supporting the store. So thank you all uh, for being supporters of great independent bookstores in your community. You should treasure them. Uh, you are blessed to have them. Uh, not all places do. I, I spent a lot of time going around to bookstores, and this is an extraordinary one. This is my first uh, visit to the Red Emma's bookstore, and it's incredible. And I'm being a little bit about Red Emma's. I mean, I, I am so I wanted to congratulate the collective on this new space. I wanted to thank them and express, you know, my heartfelt appreciation for the work that they do. It's a magical space and um, these kind of spaces don't just happen, so they need your support. And I hope that you guys will come back again and again and buy food and coffee and books as uh, um, you can, um, because these places, we have to support them. Uh, these institutions are hard to find, basically. And to support them, I think, is uh, a and then for Red Emma's, the best bookstore in the country. Clap it up for Red Emma's. Uh -huh.